Kieran Bugabe here with Box of Vans Ireland and I'm really happy to be here with Mr. Glenn Byrne. Um, Glenn, um, you had a t- tough debut against Alan White, the Great White Hope, um, and uh, you had a really, really solid performance today um, with a second round stoppage. Um, and you looked a lot more calm. Um, like one thing you mentioned in the last week, you said you were wasting energy. Um, obviously nerves and things like that but you seem much more calculated much more relaxed and uh, everything was very well thought out every single um, combination you threw, every attack you threw was very very um, calculated would you feel like it was much more mature from you? Yeah I think um, t- when I fought Alan I walked out and I was literally I'd say in the first 20 seconds he caught me a solid body shot and I, it, it was a shock to the system I was like Jesus Christ I'm in for it here and I just chased the fight uh, I was rushing around Whereas tonight, one thing I said to Jay in this room was, I want to stay, I want to pick me shots. Whereas I like, even think back now, I know it's November, but I can't think of ever being in the ring in November and thinking of what shot I was going to throw. I was just throwing for the sake of it. I was born, as I said, stupid energy. Whereas tonight, I, I was composed, I listened to me corner. Um, I was just doing a lot of work in the gym, I am, the likes of that. I, like, even in my first fight, I bounced around an awful lot, uh, stupidly, trying to move out around the ring, whereas now I'm trying to do small little steps, small head movement, uh, faint, and so I don't have to move as much, make him move. Um, and I think it worked for me, don't get me wrong, it was it was a second round stoppage, so I, I didn't perform for, like, it wasn't the full six rounds, but I got, in the, in the two rounds that I'd done, I think I performed well, and I was calm and, uh, yeah, collected in it. Um... And as well as that, like even even when you dropped them the first time, there was no like um, like you didn't panic or there was no sense of like urgency to like get them out as soon as possible. It seems like you just picked the shots and and that, was that very much part of the process of like never getting too excited if if you were getting a bit of success, like. Yeah, do you know what? It actually, it went back to me fighting in September when I fought in the semi pro scene. I was fighting a guy and uh, I caught him a great right hand and he fell back against the ropes and I rushed in. Thank you, Mel. I rushed in onto him, um, I smothered all my work and the referee separated us and that gave him a breather to get back. So this time I knew that when I hurt him, because I knew he had a high guard, so if I hurt him, I knew I was going to get another opportunity to hurt him, so I didn't need to rush in on him. So I think that being calm, it sort of gave him a bit of time to get back, but he obviously wasn't expecting me then to load up on him again. So I thought I'd done well in not diving in on him. Um. A lot of shots to the body, setting up like you know, setting up shots upstairs and then finishing with the body and stuff. But that was obviously something that you wanted to do for the fight, I imagine. Do you know what? That Lich J only literally came up with that game plan uh, when we were doing the warm up. He said he found another couple of videos of him online. Um, I didn't watch any videos. I just leave that to Jay. But he watched another couple today and he's seen he had a high guard. So literally only in the warm up, he was doing with me to uh, step across with the jab and bring in like a right uppercut to the body. And I found I had joy with it. But then at times when he he, he when I couldn't get the overcoat in, I found that I had a good bit of joy with a straight right to the body. So I was trying to vary my shot's head so he wasn't just that I was reliant on the body. Um, I think I caught him one or two okay shots to the head, but it was more predominantly to hit the body. Um, so for you now, you're out on March 30th. Um, obviously, exciting time for you, obviously, in Conlon Bill. Um, for you now, what, like, what would you like to achieve in that? Like, Is it just for you just getting out and getting a six-round or whatever it is, four-rounder? Or... Um, is it to set you up for another fight down the line, maybe a belt or something? Um, no, so I still want to take uh, slow steps in my career. I know probably people are saying I'm saying a slow step, and then I found a six rounder tonight. But there's methods all the madness with Jay. He uh, he's the one that's planning it. I full faith in him. Him and Butch, uh, I think they're doing a great job so far. Like my tour fight, I'm gonna be fighting on the zone um, on a Conlon Bill, so that's good. But now it will be. I think it's a six rounder as far as I'm aware. The opponents picked, um, and it'll be the same thing. They're just stepping stones for me. I'm gonna try and. Uh, Try to just get as many, it's all experience to me, so this will be a different type of opponent where I'll work on something else on each camp, just to bring in something new while I'm focusing on the stuff I'd already learned in the last couple of camps. So then when it comes, like I'm not rushing into any fights, so then when it comes maybe later in the year, start the next year when it is time to step it up and maybe compete for uh, the likes of a title, I will have covered a lot of tough fights that will stand to me rather than just getting in and... Uh, not having any sort of game plan and just, just fighting people for the sake of it, whereas there's actually talk on the process. Mm. Um... Someone else is on the bill, uh, James Freeman, someone quite close to your way, and uh, he actually comes from the kind of same background as you in terms of he's come from the unlicensed and he's quite raw, quite nervous. Maybe that could be maybe a fight that could happen down the line, you never know. Yeah, come here, I, to be fair, I, I, I don't pay attention to anything like that. Yeah. Um, 
I was just happy to feature on the bill. Um, I think if he's the same age as me, I'm sure he's delighted to feature on the bill. He's so big as that. We have not a lot of experience. There's a lot of boxers out there who jump at the chance who have a lot more experience than us. So, yeah, maybe down the road down the road it could be a fight but I'm not really looking at anything like that I, I just have tunnel vision now for fight by fight step by step just to progress me and until the lads at my team think I'm ready to take a chance then I'll take the chance but at the moment I'm just focused fight by fight trying to learn as much as I can You enjoying this so far? I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it I swear to God I love boxing um, I was out of it for years but I still like, I went over to England for a lot of the shows I was at oh, like Dublin shows for Katie I go to Belfast for a lot of com- the mixed shows uh, I'm a huge boxing fan so for me to compete on the shows um, even like the small Ireland hall shows I used to go to the Red Cow when they had the Dublin shows years ago I love what I do and then just to get the chances that I'm getting is huge uh, I couldn't dream but as I said in the last interview I wasn't boxing up until July like I took probably I like a white collar fight in 2020 maybe or before that the last time I boxed was 2016 so like up until July I hadn't boxed properly in 8 years um, it's huge for me I'm absolutely delighted it's big it's, I'm delighted couldn't, uh, couldn't be any happier Right well Glenn it's always nice to speak to you um, uh, and as always your honesty and, and um, authenticity is always very nice as well so really appreciate it um, and uh, yeah look really looking forward to seeing the match started and uh, yeah, it'd be a great night for you. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Kieran. I really appreciate all the work you do for Irish Boxing. Thank Thanks, Fan. Thanks. Thank Cheers.